Nathan Buddle, captain of Blythe Spawns, how does that sound and how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, to come back, this is now my third spell. Um, and uh, to come back as captain is, is massive for me personally, you know. Um, my previous two spells have been here and Robbie Dale's been captain and at the end of the day, uh, um, there's a massive level of respect for Robbie, you know, and what he's achieved as captain. Um, so yeah, to, to come back as captain is just, you know, massive for me personally. Yeah, just going back to the very start when you when you joined from Hartley in 2013. Do you remember walking through the door? What do you remember when you first walked through the, the dressing room doors? Well, it's actually, um, I, I can't remember vividly to be fair because obviously le left Hartlepool, um, I remember speaking to Tom Wade at the time, um, he came in just kind of as like a trial period um, and there was literally I think the only person I can remember who is still playing or was playing at this uh, kind of time was Robbie. Um, you know, there was like Neil Hooks was there at the time, was Joe Kendricks. Um, but yeah, I came in kind of not really knowing too much about the club, but from that point onwards, um, you know, just kind of fell in love with the place. And this is why I'm, I'm back again for my third spell. Um, it's just something about the, the football club, which I think if you speak to the likes of Nipper, Lid, Reedy, Jordan Watson, um, everyone, you know, just, just loves the place. Yeah, you can see how much love you've got for the club. Was it that FA Cup when that sort of helped get your love for the club or has it been a mix of things? Because obviously you have experienced quite a lot in terms of playoffs and winning the, the league here yeah. as well. Um, it's a difficult one because it might sound a bit daft, but when I first came to the club we were kind of struggling. Um, obviously in the Evo stick we we're, were kind of really mixed results, but um, I kind of really enjoyed that first season. It was like, our backs was against the wall, so I was, I was really busy uh, at the back. And then, like you say, from then we, we've had quite a lot of highs. Um, the promotion, obviously. Um, even, you know, playing at St James with winning the Senior Cup. Um, and then, inevitably, the, the third round of the FA Cup was, was massive. Um, personally, for me, probably the, the highlight of my career. And, yeah, that, that was huge. And I think that is probably something which is kind of embedded into, into myself and, and the lads who was part of that run and one of the, the major factors of, of the love for this club. Yeah, I think you've got to move to Carlisle on the back of that cup run, obviously you've played for Gates and Spanning as well. What is it about this club that just makes you keep coming back? So you see it, you, it is your third permanent spell here. Yeah, I, it's re, it's quite hard to put your finger on it, to be honest, but um, just the club as a whole, I think, you know, you can speak to the new lads. Um, I remember listening to Reece Seven's interview about coming back this season, he just said like, you just end up loving it here, you know, it's like, um, the atmosphere, the fans, you know, like Pete, the groundsman, and it's just everything about the club as a whole, um, it just feels welcoming and you kind of don't want to leave, um, you know, obviously with, with past um, experiences, things played out how they did, but I don't think if anyone had the option, you know, you, you don't want to leave the club, it, it's, it's it is what it is, uh, and everyone wants to be here. Yeah, what does it mean to you to make, I think it's 236 appearances for this club, because not many players have done that. Yeah, definitely, I mean, that's something which I obviously want to build on. Um, I think, I remember a while ago kind of asking the question, um, how many games I've played, um, and I'm sure I'm not too far off, like defensively, playing the most games as a defender, so uh, hopefully I can kind of have a, a long stint here. Um, you know, I've got no plans on going anywhere. This is, you know, this is exactly where I want to be, and hopefully, as a club, we can keep moving forward, and them appearances will just keep going up and up. Yeah, the only Dan Maguire's made more appearances than you. Obviously, yeah, uh, Mike Little, Jordan Watson, Sean Reeve all returned as well. Um, you must feel really proud, you know, that you've you've been asked to be captain, given you've got so many experienced lads with you in the, in the squad. Without a doubt, um, it's it's something which I've like always kind of. Um, would have liked to had the opportunity to do so for the gaffer to, to kind of instill that trust in us is, is massive for me and um, like you say there's experienced lads like St Nipper and Lids and you know JJ um, you know plenty of, plenty of experience and plenty of leaders amongst the, the squad so to be asked for that to take that responsibility is you know a massive honour um, and I'm, you know, I'm just really looking forward to it. Yeah, do you almost have to thank the manager for, for showing such faith in you that you know to give you the captaincy? Yeah, definitely. And I mean, from a personal point of view, um, I know he's been captain at nearly every club he's played for. 
Um, same as Mickey Barron, you know, I know they had a conversation um, beforehand uh, and for both of them to kind of come to me and, you know, have that trust to say, yeah, we want you to be captain this year is huge. You obviously both did great jobs at the clubs they were at um, as a captain, so it's something which um, is a big deal and something I'll be looking at them for advice as well as uh, as the season goes on. Yeah, you mentioned earlier obviously playing under Robbie Dale, I think you would have played under that as a James Curtis at, at Spanning as well. You, you played under, under some really great captains. Can you take a lot from, from them? Uh, would you learn a lot from them kind of people? Yeah, um, I think definitely. I mean, and go back, um, you know, Carlisle had Danny Granger who he was fantastic captain, uh, Gator, there's Ben Clark. Um, you know, like you say, James Curtis, uh, and then obviously Robbie, I think all have kind of had different ways of, you know, taking the role as captaincy, but hopefully I can kind of take a little bit from, from each one and uh, hopefully you can, can kind of try and follow in their footsteps in that regard. Yeah, what qualities do you hope the show as a captain, not just on the pitch, but obviously it, it, it's a big role off the pitch as well, keeping sort of everyone happy in the dressing room? Um, I think overall, uh, you know, I, I want to kind of just make sure everyone at the club's kind of happy and all moving in the same direction. You know, the last two seasons, from my point of view and this football club's point of view, hasn't been good enough. So first and foremost, I think everyone's standards have got to be in the right place. We've got to be going in the right direction. You know, this is this is kind of a bottom point. Um, and for me personally, I want to kind of make sure we are now going in the right direction and not looking back. Yeah, obviously a great squad put together this season. Um, without looking too far ahead, what do you sort of hope to achieve as captain? Um, I mean, I would love to love to have the CB which Robbie's had. Yeah, you know, like promotion, FA Cup third round as a captain. Um, that's something which I would, you know would love. Um, but we'll just see how it goes. Um, just looking ahead to this season though. Um, just have a solid pre-season and we'll take the season as it is, game by game. But like you say, it's a it's a good strong squad, um, and I think we can we we'll probably make a, a few surprises this year. And um, like I say, just take it as it is. Yeah, how, how much are you looking forward to, to putting it on the captain's on man on for the sort of first time? I know you've done it in the in the past, but you know, but to do a permanently must must be a special feeling. You're like you're looking forward to. Yeah, definitely. I can't wait to uh, lead the lads out. I think even more so with obviously this whole COVID situation. Um, I think my last competitive game was Boxing Day last year, so. Uh, to do it also being captain you know get back out of there I just can't wait